What's going on, everybody? See here, and welcome back to some more Rust. So today we're continuing our adventure. However, I want to. I got. We got to talk about some stuff before we get started because there's some kind of like expectations and stuff like that that I, I, I had about the solo Rust experience that we need to address. Um, first of all, this game is not really made to play. Like, okay, I, I, I don't, it's not really made to play solo. Um, it is, and it's not, it can, it can be played solo very easily. If there was a few things that would change how the game works. Um, one of those being, if there was a way to actually play a local single player, if there was a way to play, like, you know, you, you like every other game that has multiplayer, you can select single player, you can select multiplayer. If there's any way for you to actually select single player to load up a map, load up a world, to load up a save, essentially load up your own personal server. Um, that would be great because once you stopped playing, the world would stop and it would stay where it was. And then when you, you log back in, everything would be where it is. So the reason that um, I've been kind of not creating a whole lot of content here is because we have some issues. So like my car is gone, <laughs> uh, it despawned. And that's because there there's just, there's spawn timers associated with things. Um, so like, okay, and then look at, there's a hot air balloon over there that wasn't there before, which is cool. But also guess what? All my corn is gone because it grew, it decayed, it, it died. So as far as like single player wise goes, um, I almost would have to start and stop the server every single time I got on and got off. And it's really kind of annoying to do that. So um, I, I've looked to see if there's any kind of like mods or anything like that, or if there's any kind of like functions or abilities within the server menu to like, hey, when nobody's playing, pause the server or something like that, you know, um, but I can't find anything like that. So if you have any if you have any ideas, leave a comment. Um, but essentially the, the biggest thing that prevents this from being like a good single player game is just the ability to pause the server, pause the game when you're not playing. So um, I honestly I think I think they should absolutely have a single player option. Um, they already have the game. It's a, it's a beautiful game. It's a great game. It's a great survival game. And I honestly think, I just think there should be an, an, a local, like a, you should be able to play a local single player or even like a local co-op, you know, just have like a couple of people join in your game. Um, it would be fantastic. I think a, a lot of people would like it. So with that being said, that's why there's some kind of weird things going on. And there's always the server monthly reset. No matter what you do, when the game updates, the game updates, uh, it resets every server. So um, at the beginning of first Thursday of the month, that is when the game resets. So that's, um, yeah, that's when things are going to reset. Anyways, I'm sorry. I wanted to talk about that and let you know what was going on. Um, I didn't really know what I was going to do with this going forward because I was like, well, I want to do some things, but I can't do some things because like, they're just going to despawn unless I go through and, you know, shut the server off and all that fun stuff. So, um, but anyways, today we're going to go, uh, we're going to, we got to go. There's a lot of stuff we can do that we can do like one offs, you know? And one of those things is I want to go and get a submarine and I want to go check out the underwater base. I want to see what the underwater lab is like. Uh, now I, I don't have any idea what it's like, so I am sure I'm probably going to be going into this, uh, and not being able to probably not doing what I need to do. Um, also I need, I really need ammo. Um, and I was thinking about if I go into here. I don't think I can craft ammo in here. I think I have to have, I think I have to have the furnace. Do I have to have the furnace for that? Well, anyways, what I was thinking is since we're, we're playing, we're playing single player, right? We got, we got pretty much all the scrap we can need. So I want to go ahead and um, get rid of some of these. We're going to need food. I don't need those. I don't need this. Uh, this thing, I think rapid fire machine gun sacrifices accuracy for distance. I think this is, um, Unload ammo. What is that? Is that a pistol round? Pistol bullet. Okay, cool. Um, so I want to make sure that I knew what that was because we need to go buy some ammo. Um, I don't need that. I don't need those, but I am going to take some of this stuff here. And the reason for that is because we're going to go, we're going to get a whole bunch of scraps. So we can go get a submarine. <laughs> oh, a submarine. I know I'm excited. Uh, a submarine so we can uh, go and explore this thing. Now, I think that there's, um, I believe that there's like NPCs there that are going to not like me. So I want to make sure that we grab some rounds and let's see. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that we grab enough scrap. What is this? Crude oil. Must be refined in a refiner to use. Okay, so I don't need any of that. Let's go into here. Let's grab this scrap here. Uh, we already have that on. Do we need? We don't need a secondary weapon. We don't need these. Do we need any grenades? I mean, maybe we'll take some grenades just in case. <laughs> I don't know. But we'll take this. Do I need a hazmat suit? Probably, probably not. I can't imagine that we need a hazmat suit. Okay, and then more low grade. Okay, so we're gonna need fuel for the submarine and then we're going to need ammo 
and we probably also need to grab some food. So on the way there, we're gonna go to the town. Uh, we're gonna go to the post, and we're gonna grab some. Uh, we're gonna scrap everything in the refiners or the recyclers, and then we're gonna grab some, hopefully, some food along the way. And then I'm gonna see if we can buy ammo in there. Now I know normally people craft ammo. Again, a little bit different here because uh, I can basically grab all the scrap that I would ever need. So I don't really have a reason, I don't think, to to craft it. I would like to craft it, and uh, I think going forward, I'm not. I'm the the rust videos are gonna come to a pause for a while they are going to come back once i can figure out some things um primarily being if i can possibly get the server to shut down when i am not playing it and you know or just to pause when i'm not playing it, you know what i mean so i'm gonna look into that i'm gonna see what i can do there uh, and see if there's any other things that i can adjust as far as uh you know things things that single players would need so i'm gonna see what's going on with that but we do have um at you know in early september we have starfield coming out and starfield's gonna be huge for the channel we're gonna be doing a lot of starfield stuff so um hopefully you're excited for that i am super excited for that i cannot even wait for that um i need to scrap this oh i didn't need to i didn't need to bring this with me darn it you know what let's go scrap this stuff i need to eat some food Oh, is this all going to turn into metal frags and not even turn into scrap? Oh, no. It is, isn't it? Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, well. We'll just... Start. Oh, no, I mean, we're getting... Oh, this is turning into... This is going to turn into some scrap. Well, oh, well. Yeah, so basically all of that <laughs> turned into metal scrap. Oh, okay, that's fine. All right, so let's go see if we can purchase any ammo anywhere. And then let's see if we can... Um, So the sub... As far as I know, is going to be on one of these uh, these fishing villages. So like, there's a harbor here, a fishing village here. The last place you died. Oh, that's because yeah, we spawned over there for some reason. Um, now I don't know where. Oh, underwater lab right there. I wonder if we can take. I wonder if the harbor. No, we went to the harbor and there was nothing there. So we have to take the fishing village. So we're going to drive the sub all the way around to this underwater lab right here because there's it doesn't look like there's anything on this coast over here except for the harbor but i don't think that's gonna work large fishing village there's cargo oil rig line house okay yeah so we're gonna have to go over here and we're gonna have to sub all the way over here now i believe you can only stay in the sub like under for like 10 minutes or something like that is what i read i did a little bit of reading on it just to make sure <laughs> but yeah, and I also believe that there's two subs. There's a 100 scrap sub and a 200 scrap sub. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll kind of go from there and see what, what we need. But let's see if we can do some shopping here. Don't need the... Oh, am I going to need any key cards? I have no idea. I hope not. But I don't know. Okay, there's there's some scrap... There's something up there. What What is... Is there a stair? Going up here? How do you, how do you get up here? There we go. What do we have in here? Um, pistolios, Sam ammo. Oh my gosh, double barrel revolver. Is it, maybe ammo is not here. We might have to pop into here and look to see what we've got. So I just came to the realization that you might, you might not be able to buy ammo here. Uh, there's a 40 mil ammo. There's 40 millimeter shotgun round. Six shotgun rounds for 15 scrap. But that is like, it's like it. There's a pistol, a shotgun, a grenade, night vision, rifle, zoom scope, assault rifle. But there's no, there's no ammo. Okay, so <laughs> this is starting into a multi-step process. <gasps> Can't buy the ammo. Uh, in order to make ammo, I can make ammo, but we're gonna need um, some sulfur. We're gonna need, we're gonna need some things. So I guess today's preparations. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go in the shop here. I want the jackhammer because we are going to need the jackhammer In order to get uh, lots of amounts of sulfur. So we're gonna go ahead and buy that Because we need the we need that anyways, and then let's go ahead. I'm gonna keep the rest of the scrap for now um, Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go around and just salvage stuff and get food that way because we can't really grow food because it just disappears too fast for us um scam VIP cheat. <laughs> okay, so let's pop out of here and it sounded like someone was running behind me. That's so funny. It scared me half to death. Oh my gosh. Dude, what are you doing there? He's going to come after me. I know it. Run. Okay, no, we're good. All right. So uh, we need to get sulfur, but that means that we're going to need to get furnaces up and stuff. So let's go ahead. We're going to um, 
we are going to oh i'm in the safe zone right now we're gonna go ahead and we'll grab we'll grab some stuff we'll head back we'll see if we can build some furnaces and then once we get some furnaces going we'll get some um because we need metal frags are those wolves uh i mean we're in a safe zone does that mean they cannot come after us if we're in a safe zone it like it looks like they're trying to but they can't i don't think they can Oh my gosh, that was actually terrifying. <laughs> that was scary. Oh, I need mushrooms. Okay. So we're gonna make uh, furnaces and we're gonna we're gonna get uh, ammo ready because we're gonna have there's gonna be resistance in the uh, in the in the place. So we're gonna need it. And I guess I'm gonna go ahead and just salvage absolutely everything again because why not? Okay, so we're gonna need. Um, let's see. Hold on. We're gonna need to research some things here. Let's go and open the check tree. Uh, we're gonna need a furnace, which is where exactly? Actually, is a furnace like something that's just like good to use? Oh yeah, furnace. So we need stone and wood for that. Uh, okay, so we'll get that going. And then actually, hold on, let's go ahead and drop our inventory off. Stone and wood. That won't be too bad. Uh, let's, you know what? Let's actually reload our, our weapon here. <laughs> In case those wolves decide to come trotting through, you know? Oh, there's sulfur ore right here. Check this out. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go and grab it because we need it. Uh, we need the sulfur and then we need stone. Sulfur is for the gunpowder, obviously. Oh my gosh, that is way better than hand mining. Holy moly. Um, that's iron. That's a metal node. I don't really need any metal right now, so I'm just going to leave that. I just need some stone and some more sulfur. You know, this actually is a pretty good setup. I really want to take that hot air balloon for a ride, too. I feel like we might need to do that. How much stone do we have? We have, uh, oh gosh, look at all the wood we have. <laughs> so much wood. Oh, is that Elmer over there? Elmer, is that you? I doubt it. Okay, so we've got a little bit of, let's see. We got some stone, we got a little bit of sulfur here. Let's go ahead and take this back. We'll get the uh, the furnaces going. The, fur the reason we need furnaces, I believe, is so that way we can start making charcoal. Um, so basically we want to just throw wood in there to start making charcoal immediately. I go for there. Actually, how's my, what is my low grade? How much low grade do I have left? Uh, I have 25. Should we, should we throw that in the hot air balloon? I feel like maybe we should. Like it literally landed in our backyard. You know what I'm saying? I think it, it might be hot air balloon time. Let's go get this going. We got to wait for charcoal to get, we got to wait for the charcoal anyways. So let's get this going. We'll throw a whole bunch of wood in the, um, the little furnace deals and why not make them into why not why not why not make it into you know what should i throw my furnaces outside now i know normally you know if you're playing like real rust <laughs> real rust quote unquote uh you don't want to throw it outside because it will uh get stolen that'll nah, be fine okay so let's go into here and let's go into crafting and we want a furnace which you need 50 low-grade fuel per furnace are you serious i didn't know that 50 low-grade fuel per furnace uh, well i guess we're gonna make our way back to the town again because i have enough scrap to actually i don't have any scrap on me <laughs> i'm also really sad that we lost our horse you know what should we go get would it be faster to go get the horse to take the horse back and forth? i think it would let's go grab that horse i should go oh he's right there oh that's not a horse that's a bear I don't think he wants us to ride him. Mm -mm, no, sir. I should have just grabbed the horse when we were over there. I'm gonna go grab the horse. Then we're gonna take the horse to town, and then we'll uh, we'll grab some. We're gonna grab a whole bunch of low grade over there. Bring the low grade back, and then uh, get some furnaces going, <laughs> and then go for a ride on the hot air balloon. We're going for a ride on the hot air balloon. It's gonna happen. Oh, Elmer, you better not have just despawned on me. Okay, thank you. <gasps> I was like, I saw him, and then all of a sudden, I didn't see him anymore. Okay, come on. We are going to town go ahead and get some recycling going here okay low grade has been acquired we've got uh let's see about 200 i think that was that was all we could buy from so we got 225 low grade we're gonna go ahead we're gonna make um i think we're gonna make two furnaces so that will use a hundred low grade uh elmer i'm glad you're still here my man my ma well i think i don't you know what i don't know it doesn't matter anyways um, yeah, so we're gonna bring Elmer back. We're gonna get our furnaces going get the charcoal going and then we're gonna go on a hot air balloon ride Oh, yes, absolutely. Hold on a second. Can we check this from here. <gasps> oh We can okay cool. Very nice. All right 
All right, let's see if we can go ahead and get home. We go. <laughs> we're we're going too fast here. Uh, we need a furnace, or is it a forge? Is it a? F it's got to be a furnace, right? If you aren't. Oh wait, hold on. F <laughs> okay. Uh, can we go ahead and craft? Skins. I don't have any skins. There's some really cool looking skins out there. I'm not gonna lie. And if we get in this game, I'm probably gonna pick up some, but I'm not going to right now. Okay, so let's get uh, those going. So we're gonna craft two of those. We're gonna place those down, get some charcoal going, and then from there, are we able to craft pistol ammo? No, it is locked. Okay, so we need to figure out. Actually, if I go into here, uh, hold on. We have we have some stuff we need to uh, to get rid of. Oh, we already have a furnace ready. Okay. Oh, I forgot I had a bunch of scrap and stuff that I was gonna take with me and get rid of. Um, that's fine. But if I go into uh, if I go into here, and well, hold on a second. If I go into here and unload the ammo, can I put this in here? One item at a time. Oh shoot! How do I do one item? One bullet. Uh, research cost is seventy five. Oh shoot! <laughs> I just put all my scrap away. Uh, okay, let's grab that. We'll research the pistol bullet. Uh, let's see research this again research <gasps> Yes, okay So we'll get that research that way we can make those because that's what we honestly need to make And we're done. Okay, cool and take this blueprint by dragging it into your inventory Got it and uh learn My gosh, we've done a thing and we should have two furnaces now. So let's go ahead and let's get uh, You know what should we we'll Let's put the furnace up top. Maybe Maybe, maybe we'll put one, put one there, and then let's put the other one right next to it. All right, so now we need to put in fuel. And actually, if we put in fuel on both of these, we have metal frags that I think we can turn into high quality metal, if I'm not mistaken. However, I, you know what? We're gonna need some though. Oh, I have 800 there and 600 there. You know what, let's do this. Let's grab the 800, we'll leave the 600. And then we'll split that input. Uh, wait, what? Oh, you probably have to have a level two, huh? What if I put this in there? That doesn't do anything. Ooh, I can't. Okay, so I guess maybe we just want wood in here just to get charcoal. Oh, wow, that, that makes charcoal fast. Okay, we'll just leave that doing its thing. So we probably need a furnace tier, like a tier two furnace or something in order to actually get that going. So that's fine. All right, now we have 125 uh you know what let's actually go ahead let's put all this away and let's take this guy out we'll reload that because we're actually gonna need a bunch of metal frags anyways uh so we'll let that do its thing and then let's go ahead and let's go let's go for a ride oh i'm excited let's go check this thing out oh uh, i only have 125 low grade right now so like we're gonna have to uh kind of be kind of do it be a little sparing um that's okay because we're not going to, uh, is that a bear or was that a boar? It's a four letter B word and I want to know what it is. <laughs> oh, look at this thing. I don't know why, but this just, just, just sounds like, what's the red button do? Fuel storage. Okay, I don't want to put, I want to put like 25 in here. Okay, so now, now what do I do? Do I, do I use this? Burn? Oh, it's just going to be, oh my gosh. Are you ready for this? I'm so ready for this. I'm so excited. This is going to be so cool. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, hold on. Wait, how much was that? Was that not enough? Not enough. Oh, snap. Wait, what is this? Are we going? <gasps> what is this? Loot? Does it take a while? Oh, man. That guy's going to come over here and get me. Uh, Are you kidding me? Wow. I knew it. I knew he was going to come over here and get me. Is there a way to, like, control this? Do I have it, like, tied down somewhere? Wow, another one? Rude. And you know what? I'm probably gonna bleed out. That's not great. Okay, this didn't go anywhere. I don't understand what's going on here. Like, we have fuel storage, we have that, but like, I don't know how to go. How do we go? I feel like we should be launched off by now, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. We're running out of fuel here. Yeah, we, we're like, we just burnt through all that fuel. We didn't even move. It's like it kind of moved a little bit. Like it lifted up a little, but it wasn't enough. Hmm. I wonder what the deal is. Okay, okay, okay. We got it figured out. Uh, <laughs> apparently the health of the thing 
is how high it can go. And it has like zero health right now. It has like 34 health. So um, that's actually because of like vehicle de decay. I need to turn that off. I thought I turned it off, but apparently I didn't because yeah, I don't, I don't have it. So um, I'm going to take the 73 cloth that I have. And then I'm also going to take the hammer. And we're going to repair it up. And then, you know what? If we, whatever, we'll use the fuel. We'll use the fuel. It is what it is. And then let's go and see. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I'm so excited to fly a hot air balloon. I didn't think, you know what? How many survival games have hot air, hot air balloons in them? You know? You know what I mean? Just saying. I don't think there's very many of them. Um, so let's take this. And there we go. Okay. So that's all I can do. I can get it to halfway, which is fine. And then let's go ahead and let's uh, let's do half of this. And let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Maiden voyage. Let's go. Take two. And because it's half health, so it should at least get off the ground, right? <gasps> oh. Oh snap! We're flying. Uh oh. We're gonna fly into that tower. Oh my gosh! We're going. We're doing the things. We are officially hot air ballooning it. This is so cool. Where are we going to go? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder how high we can actually go with this thing. Like, well, I know, I know the height depends on the, um, the health. So, oh, hello. Uh, we're going to be hitting a mountain here. Oh, nope. We're still going up. I feel like we're still going up. I'm hoping that we can get like at least just right, right above most of the landscape, you know? Oh, oh, we're going this way. <laughs> Um, uh oh, was that it? Did I hit that on accident? I don't think I did. Unless like that's the max height. Is that our max height right there? Oh, this is cool. I can see my house from here. <laughs> why is this so much fun? I don't know why they feel like they needed to add a hot air balloon to the game, but it's fantastic. I feel like we're just like circling around the area that we were in. Like it landed right there. We're just going to circle this whole area. This is so much fun. I wanted to see how high we could get. Uh oh, uh oh! Don't no no no! Don't don't take me into the cold area. I'll freeze and die. Oh, don't take me over. There. No, it is. It's definitely just circling like this area right here. Is that really all it does? It just circles one main area. You know what? I wonder if it circles an area until you get to a certain height, and then once you get to a certain height, it takes you over. You know what I mean? Because like maybe it has like a you know it's like oh well if you're below this this the you know threshold of height then you're probably going to hit like terrain and stuff. So we're going to take you up in like a spiral. And then from there, it's like, now you're free to uh, explore the, well, I mean, we're still spiraling. We're definitely going like way, I don't have a parachute. Um, Definitely going to need to make sure that we come down somewhat soft. Okay, we're going to look in here. We're at 12. This is cool. I mean, we just went in a circle though. We're at nine. It takes quite a bit of fuel, doesn't it? seven okay we probably should turn it off oh this is cool <laughs> oh that's neat oh darn we're coming down coming down hot Let's see if we can slower slower descent down here just a little bit oh my gosh are we gonna land on top of my house that would be hilarious Ooh, we're coming in hot oh buddy oh man we caught that like at the right time I think we'll survive this. <gasps> yeah, we did it. Oh, that's so much fun. Oh, we did the things. I love it. We rode a hot air balloon. We only went in a circle though. I definitely need to get more low grade. Uh, I think we need to figure out how to make it because I think you can make low grade. So, all right, let's now, <laughs> now that we played with a hot air balloon for a little bit, let's, um, let's go see how much uh, charcoal we have. And see if we can't start making some gunpowder. Um, oh, we got 267 in there. We got 283 in there. That looks pretty good. So I think we should be able to come over here and... Oh, we're, we're going to need that sulfur. All right, where is that sulfur? So 650. I don't know what like, the combination or the rate ratio is here. Uh, but we're going to be looking for the gunpowder. Sulfur. I have... Oh, you have to ref... You have to refine it. You have to refine it in sulfur powder, don't you? So wait, hold on. If I put this in here. Oh, well, darn. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. I didn't realize you had to put the sulfur in here. Well, now I feel like a dummy. Okay. <laughs> let's, uh, let's actually go and get, let's go get some more sulfur. 
And I, I mean, I guess we're going to be making charcoal at the same time. So you make charcoal and full sulfur at the same time. Got it. N now I know. All right, our hot air balloon is still there. Um, okay, let's go see if we can find some more sulfur rocks. <gasps> There's a wolf over there. That's not good. He's going to try to eat my face. Oh, look, a sulfur node. Oh, that's loud. <laughs> I feel like we should have took the hot air balloon over to the mountain area and uh, got a bunch of sulfur. <laughs> I don't think there's a way to control it. I, I think it's uh, it's you're at the mercy of the wind. So wherever that wind sock is facing, like that's where you're going. Like we were going in circles the whole time. So, I mean, it is what it, I should have took the horse. There's another horse over there. I guess we'll work our way over there. Looks like there's a sulfur, maybe a sulfur node right there. You know, I thought I saw a sulfur note over here, and now I'm not exactly sure where, where it went. Did I not see one over here? Oh, it's, it's right. No, there's no way I saw that one. Also, another thing that I'm realizing uh, that would be really nice is if we could plant hemp. Uh, and I think we can. I just need to get hemp seeds. So let's actually grab this hemp. We're going to grab some hemp and see if we can grab some hemp seeds and then maybe start growing it. Uh, that would be nice. Oh, we got hemp seeds. Oh, I wonder if you get hemp seeds from everyone you grab. Because we need more cloth. We don't have a lot of cloth, you know? Hello there, Mr. Horse. I feel like we need another new name for a horse. Like, we have, we've had lots of Elmers. So, we need more names. Leave a comment down below for a good horse name. Even though the horse will probably last a episode. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. How much sulfur do we have? We have 900. Okay, so I think we're good. Let's, let's go ahead and we'll hop on the horse head back. Take that, throw that into the furnaces, and then make the sulfur and the gun. We'll make the gunpowder. And then from the gun. Oh, oh that's, you have to pick that up. Okay. Uh, and then we'll take that. We'll make that. And then, uh, yeah, we should be pretty good from there to make some ammo and stuff. The reason that we're trying to make ammo here is because, like I said, uh, the, the underwater lab, I believe, has a bunch of scientists in it that are going to try to shoot us. So we need to be fully armed and ready to go so that way we can you know fight them and take on take on the guards and stuff so that's what we're kind of doing we're doing the preparations here you just really really oh my gosh stupid horse broke the horse is that a bear right there yeah i think it is it looks like it has four legs and is big and floofy oh yeah Oh yeah, that's a bear. I don't think 22, is 22 rounds enough to take out a bear? I have no idea. I just hope he doesn't come any closer to my house. You know, like he can just stay, he can just stay right over there. That would be fantastic. <laughs> don't come closer, please. Oh, look, more hemp. Okay, so first things first, let's throw the sulfur in here. Get those going. Oh, you can do two of them at a time? What? No way, that's insanity. Okay, we'll get those. Actually, well, look at this. Check that out. Those are already ready to go. These are ready to go. Heck yeah. Uh, we'll take these and we're going to start. We're, you know what? We're going to start growing some hemp too. And corn. So I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to just try to turn off the server when I'm not, when I'm, you know, until we get some things figured out. Uh, I'm just going to turn on and off the server. That's what we're going to be doing. Um, okay, so if I need gunpowder, right? It takes that much. Wow, I can make 20? Are you kidding me? That's it? I feel like that's terrible. What do I need for pistol ammo? Pistol ammo. Is it just metal frags and gunpowder? Okay, cool. So it's just metal frags and gunpowder. Uh, well, hopefully the gunpowder. Oh, it's giving us 10. So hopefully that will actually give us more than one round per, per craft. So it's actually going to make 200 gunpowder. So hopefully that's like a lot of pistol. It's going to be like five rounds. Watch. It's going to be like five pistol rounds. We're like, no. <laughs> terrible. So the gunpowder is crafted. Let's get our metal frags and let's see what we can do for pistol ammo. Crafting that max. So 40. How much does that actually give me? It gives me four. Okay, that's not that's not terrible. Maybe that's not that bad. It could be worse. It could be way worse. Um, so that looks like it should work just fine. Okay, so now, ooh. We got 128 and 32. That's actually, that's not bad. Look at that. Not bad, not bad. Okay, hold on. Let's go actually do a reload here and see how much we can actually hold in this bad boy. Oh my gosh, 24. <laughs> it's not very much more than what I had. Okay, cool. So we got some ammo. We have some ammo. Um, now, low grade, if I'm not mistaken, I feel like there's, there's a way to craft low grade, but I don't know what it is exactly. Let me see if I need to look in. Hold on, that's the wrong thing. Let's see if we can look in the tech tree here. 
Is there a low? It's I. I'm almost positive it's a smelter thing. Okay, so I looked on the recipe. The recipe is two animal fat and cloth. Okay, so cloth again becoming super important. So let's grab our, <laughs> our three hemp seeds here, and we'll get those guys planted. Now, uh, is this watered? Eighty-seven percent water. Okay, so yeah, there's water in here, so we're good on that. Okay, let me go get my corn seeds. We're gonna replant the corn. We're gonna see if we can actually have a successful harvest here. Uh, and actually, you know what? I might have more hemp seeds that I didn't know about. Okay, so there's our corn seeds. We have plenty of corn. Uh, we have another one of these, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna place that yet. Do we have any hemp seeds? I don't see any. We have a delicious chocolate bar though. We better eat that. All right, let's go ahead and eat that. Mmm, delicious chocolate bar. Wait a second. What kind of chocolate was that? <laughs> oh dear. There's no potties here. Um, okay. So, you know, maybe I should go ahead and research these. Well, or maybe research that. Or... Actually, I don't see any... I don't see any seeds at all. Like, did we seriously not get any hemp seeds? Hmm. Well, uh, we'll go ahead and plant some corn. Okay, so corn has been planted. Let's go see if we can find some more hemp seeds. We're gonna, we'll go and see if we can get at least six more. Oh, we got this. Well, this guy's not hooked up yet. So yeah, let's go see if we can find some more hemp seeds. Now we can get some cloth going because cloth, if I'm not mistaken, is actually is a crafted, right? So cloth, wait, hold on. What? Crafting. I thought, it was, I thought cloth was, what? Don't you, do, oh, you just pick up cloth, huh? Cloth from animal or a hemp bush. Uh, use them in, okay, okay, so you just, you just, wow, you really just pick it up? I thought it had to be crafted for something. Uh, we do also, oh, yeah, we have blueberry seeds, too. We'll have to, we'll have to use those at some point, too. Oh, what is this? A grub! A pale flesh insect that can be used for bait. Can also be eaten in desperate situations. We're not that desperate. All right, Pony, let's go see if we can't find some more hemp. I wonder if there's, like, an area that is, like, good for hemp we're probably in it you know like the standard hills area you know what maybe we should try to take out that bear because the bear would have would have animal fat right you know what let's do it come here oh he's running away oh come on rude let's go find him i guess i could have got him i guess i could have shot from the horse huh that's <laughs> kind of, i guess that might be kind of the point here oh there's the other horse that's stuck on the tree still on horseback with a semi-automatic rifle. All right, actually, well, it's, it's fully automatic. <laughs> I mean, that's fantastic. Where's that bear at? Oh, we got him. All right, let's see how much animal fat we get off of this guy. I'm gonna use a pickaxe. I have none. That's leather, bone fragments. Maybe I need to use this. Cloth, bone fragments. Am I using the wrong thing here? Maybe I'm supposed to be using an ax. Or a hatchet. I might be supposed to be, maybe I'm supposed to be using a hatchet. Uh, wooden stone. Mm, you know what? We'll just go ahead and use the pickaxe. Rare bot. Bear rock. Mm, I don't, you know, I don't, I, you know, I feel like I'm supposed to be using the hatchet here. Did we not make a metal axe? I could have swore we made a metal axe. I guess I could just go ahead and. I have a metal axe at home. You know what? Let's go. We're going to go back home and grab it because I, I could have swore we made a metal one and we made. Did we make the metal pick and the metal axe and like. Maybe not. Oh, you know what? We didn't make a metal axe because we never found one. We found the metal picks. We never found a metal axe. That's what's going on here. We actually need to get this unlocked. Okay, so now we have the metal hatchet. Okay, perfect. So wood and then metal frags. Okay, good. Now we can actually make that. I think that's what we need in order to get um, the actual, the actual thing. Oh, look, there's more more ammo rounds. <gasps> Very nice. Okay, so that, and then, do we have a bunch of wood? Wait, oh, did it say airdrop incoming? <gasps> oh, last time that airdrop, that airdrop was super, oh, it's supposed to be dark though. All right, so let's craft that bad boy. I wonder where the airdrop's coming in at. Okay, we have the hatchet. Uh, unfortunately, it is very, it's going to get very dark here very quickly, which is super unfortunate. Let's actually go ahead and take a peek into, uh, let's take a peek in our, um, our greenhouse here. Oh, look, they're growing. Health 91, <gasps> age is six minutes, seedling 24%. 
Ceiling 50%. Look at them. Oh, they look so good. Oh, it's so good. But that is going to end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did like, subscribe, all of the things. Next episode, now that we've got some ammo, uh, we're going to go ahead and craft some low grade. We're going to get that sub in the next one, I think, because we have, um, we have scrap. So we need 200 scrap for the sub itself. And then we need a bunch of low grade. And then we needed a bunch of rounds, which I think... We're probably pretty close on rounds. I'm probably going to go ahead and make some more with uh, the stuff that we have upstairs smelting. But we'll go ahead and make those. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to go under. We're going to go check out the underwater lab, I think, in the next video. So, yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have, hopefully, you had a fantastic time. If you did, uh, you know, like, subscribe. It's super dark, and I'm sorry. <laughs> it's super dark, and it's, like, terribly hard to see anything. Um, but, yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.